Hi, I'm Rody for The Developer Show, and this is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. In case you missed it, the Flutter app Wondrous just got nominated for a Webby in the Best User Interface category. You can vote for the app on the Webby Awards website. This app was made in partnership with the G-Skinner team and since launch has had 30,000 users. To learn more about Wondrous, check out the Flutter blog on Medium. Next, we can head over to Chrome to talk about all the exciting ways WebAssembly is accelerating the web. Some powerful real-world examples include FFmpeg on Wasm, background blurring on Google Meet, SQLite on Wasm, which replaces WebSQL, and the universal scene descriptor in Safari. WebAssembly brings faster iteration speed, immediate support across browsers, and improved security. To learn more about WebAssembly, check out the Chromium blog. If you're building AI vision models, then you'll be excited to learn about how to scale vision transformers to 22 billion parameters. LLMs or large language models like Palm or GPT-3 show that scaling parameters improves performance, but also unlocks emergent abilities. But the largest dense models have only reached around 4 billion parameters. Thanks to VIT-22B, we can incorporate ideas from scaling models like Palm to a new modified architecture to scale to 5.5 times larger. To learn more about this new technique, check out the Google Research blog. Finally, we can talk about the March 2023 release for Jetpack Compose. There are new composables introduced, horizontal and vertical pager. There are lots of fun transition effects and behaviors that can be applied when swiping through content. You can also add page indicators, change the viewport offset fraction, and the current page in the page state. To learn more about all these week's stories, make sure to check out the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Rody for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.